you probably know which things around you are living and which are non-living. There are many kinds of living things, but all are alike in some ways. In this video, you will find out how living things are alike. You will also find out how living things differ from non-living things. How do living things differ from non-living things? What living things do you see? How can you tell whether something is living or non-living? All living things carry out certain called life processes. These life processes distinguish living things from non-living things. First, living things grow. For example, new plants grow from seeds in the soil. New leaves grow on trees. And trees also grow in size. If you have ever had a puppy or a kitten, you have seen your pet grow. How much have you grown since last year? Non-living things like rocks and sand do not grow the way things grow. Second, living things can respond to the world around them. For example, plants may respond to sunlight by growing toward it. Flowers may open in the morning and close at night. A frog will jump if you try to catch it. If you see a car coming, you will step back onto the sidewalk instead of trying to cross the street. Non-living things do not respond in these ways. Third, living things can produce more living things like themselves. This process is called reproduction. Different living things reproduce in different ways. Some plants produce seeds that grow into new plants. Still, other plants grow directly from a parent plant. The young of some animals are born alive and some hatch from eggs like ducks. Non-living things cannot produce some of themselves. Finally, living things need energy. They need energy to grow, to respond, to reproduce. Where do living things get this energy? You get your energy from food. All living things need food to get energy to carry their life processes. Scientists have special name for living thing. A living thing is called organism. Birds centuries are organisms, but feathers and barks are not. Feathers and bark are only parts of organisms. They cannot live on their own. All organisms are alike in that they carry out the life processes that were mentioned earlier. All organisms are alike in another way. They are all made of cells. A cell is the smallest living part of an organism. Many organisms such as the plants and animals that you know are made of millions of cells. I hope you learned something new from this video.